intelligence. The fourth industrial revolution and other technology talks have taken the spotlight. It is important to remember that behind every cell phone, every computer, and every other type of a technology design, there is a human being. Now, when we speak of humanity, what we think of is our diversity, and almost naturally, our identity. The author Meg Jay once said, you come into this world with half of who you are already in place due to prenatal influences, biological factors, and genetics. And that forms our identity. But what if I tell you that the conversation about identity is not as comfortable and is just as uncomfortable as the pair of heels that I was wearing? <laughs> so I decided to take them off. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if I tell you that my identity is associated with the killing of over 20,000 civilians. If I tell you that in another context, over 800,000 men, women, and children were killed solely based on ethnic identity. Now, I am going to take you to Rwanda, but before I do this, I'd like to take you back to a few weeks ago. I was conducting interviews for my thesis when a participant looked at my surname, read it out loud and said, Chigwenya, where are you from? I hesitated momentarily as I absorbed the generational guilt that my surname bears. I knew exactly that in this context, where are you from was not referring to my country of origin. It is not referring to where I am domiciled. I knew exactly what it meant. Never mind the fact that I have lived in Matabeleland for most of my defining years. Whenever I express my passion for post-conflict reconstruction, it always has to be followed by some sort of justification as to why I'm interested in that research. Now, where am I from? I was born to parents of intercultural marriage. My mother, whenever she's happy and nostalgic, should always say, growing up, meaning my granddad did not like people who spoke in Shona. Now, Utata was the name that she used to refer to her father, and so did we as we grew up. Now, my granddad was of Ndebele origin, and it was not uncommon for someone who's of Ndebele origin to resent and have certain sentiments towards those of the Shona-speaking origin. Just like Utat, my paternal grandmother was also of Ndebele origin. But what is different in her story is that at the height of tribal conflict, she married a Shona man. 